Again, you're given this formula. Sorry, you're given this formula, the position formula. You're given the... There's a balloon going up at 16 feet per second, so this is actually going up. Whenever you have positive, it's up, negative's down. It's released, going upward. And the initial height of the balloon when it's dropped is 64 feet. It wants to know how long until it hits the ground and at what velocity is it at. So the first thing we know want to know is the time at which it hits the ground. So I want to know S of T. Okay, but what's the position? Don't I want to find out when S of T equals zero? Don't I want to find out when the position equals zero? So isn't this S of T right here? So if I want to know when S of T equals zero, do I know my time? No, that's what I want to find out. Do I know my initial velocity? Yeah, it's 16. Do I know my initial position? Yeah, it's 64. Due to the formula given, which we actually did in the previous problem, can I solve this and find the time at which it hits the ground? Yes. It'd be a lot easier to divide everything out and make this, I divide everything by negative 16, and get t squared minus t and this becomes a minus 4. And you have to use quadratic formula. But is that a little bit... I divided everything by negative 16. Do you want me just to tell you the answer? The answer is approximately... It has two answers. One of them is negative. Do we care about the negative? Unless you can time travel like Hiro Nakamura, you might not want to um, put a negative time. So your time is 2.562. You always do three decimal places. Okay. So, that's our time. Okay. No calculus whatsoever. Now, we could use calculus to get to this formula knowing that gravity goes down at negative 32 feet per second squared. But, anywho. Now, our previous problem, I'll tell you this. We found our velocity function. Instead of sitting here and trying to figure out our velocity function, Last time we figured it out that it's 32t plus your initial velocity. That is the formula for velocity. It's, it's 32t plus your initial velocity. Got it? We did that last time. If you look at the previous problem, which is not in this video, but um, we found out that formula. We found out that formula by taking Acceleration is negative 32 feet per second squared and worked our way down. Anywho, what do we want to find? We don't find the velocity after this much time. So what are we basically going to do? Now we're just going to go, okay, velocity after this much time. That's very tough. Okay, so we plug in our time. And do we know our initial velocity? Oh yeah, it was 16. Remember, initial velocity, that's our time. If we do the math, we get negative 64.970 feet per second. Sorry, this was seconds. Wait, how the heck do you get negative? Oh, it makes sense. Isn't velocity negative just means direction? It doesn't mean like, oh my goodness, I'm going negative. Wait, I can. Speed is the absolute value. Speed means we ignore negatives. Velocity, negative and positive, tell you which direction it's going. So negative means it's going down at this much feet per second, which doesn't make much sense to you. You're more familiar with miles per hour. We're not going to change it. That's your answer.